Back to uh, the Morning Brew. I'm Larry Ahrens, along with Matt Gentry. And our first guest today, as you can see, are sitting here at the table with us, our good friend Judy Lawrence, who's a financial counselor. I call you a money coach. Yes. Judy, how are you? I'm good. And good. Uh, your best-selling book and all of that. Man, good to see you again. Thank you. Good to Thank have you, you back. Thank and you. you brought along Bob Cisneros. I did. From the city of Albuquerque. Uh, Bob is the marketing manager for the Solid Waste Department and in charge of the Keep Albuquerque Beautiful program. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good job. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah, it's a lot of fun trying to keep this, uh, our community nice and clean for everybody. Good. I think you're doing a great job. Thank you. Because yeah. I love Albuquerque, Thank and you. I like being clean. Yeah. So, so it's I win. A, it's a win-win win situation. It's a win-win-win all the way around. Uh, we're here to talk about, and we have some of the clothing articles mm -hmm. here, the Trash and Fashion Show. Um, talk a little bit about yeah. this. Whoever wants to take it. Well, I was uh, going to talk about the well, Bobby will talk about the Trash and Fashion Show, and because of that coming up, I wrote the blog and my Money Tracker website. And uh -huh. this time, the article is about. Um, it's called Trash and Fashion Makes It Fashionable to Wear <laughs> Trash. So I thought, how <laughs> do we? I tried to say that three times. <laughs> so I thought, okay, what's going on out there in terms of clothing and fabrics and waste? Because you know, I'm always about how do we eliminate waste. Mm -hmm. So I did a little research. I came up with a couple different stories that are kind of fun. And to just give it a historical perspective, we have a picture there of the, the rag pickers. And if we go back, this whole fabric thing started with rag pickers. Do you remember the term rag pickers? Mm -hmm. Vaguely, yes. Vaguely. Well, the rag pa pickers, they used rags for creating paper. And back in the early 1800s, um, it was a booming business to have newspapers, books, and, and um, stationery. So they were trying to get all the scraps they could. And, and eventually, we were importing about 123 million pounds from England just to have enough scraps for our, our booming print industry. So now fast forward to a society where we dispose of everything. We just throw it all away. We're throwing away 12 million tons of clothing sitting in landfills. So that's where I thought, OK, what do we do about this waste? And what are the stories that are out there? And there's lots of stories of people who are creating new businesses, new fabrics, new designs and coming up with shows that are all <coughs> out there about how do we get rid of this trash and, and do something um, with the, the new design. And you know, we talked about you know, a local person is Nancy Judd. There's a picture of Nancy Judd showing. And if you can look at what she's wearing, can you see what that, what that might be, what, what she's wearing there? What it's that, a dress, obviously. It's a dress, and it's made completely out of those caution tapes, crime oh. scene tapes. Oh, that's pretty cool. She's out of Santa Fe, and she's with. She used to be the recycling coordinator for Santa Fe, and her whole thing is being an environmental advocate and educator. Like, what can we do about this garbage? How do we look at garbage in a new way? So she designs all these beautiful clothes out of trash, like we see on that, and um, some of her clothes are exhibited over in the Smithsonian and in museums and airports. So that's one way to do something about it to get the message out there. But then we've got these purses. And that brings us to you guys. You have your ties. Now, what do you do with your Father's Day ties and your Christmas ties? I keep them mostly, but I give them to Larry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Larry. So eventually, if you don't know what to do with those ties, we have Val Romero here in town. I think she's going to be on the show late, uh, later this month. And she has a business called Family Ties. And what she does is she oh, takes boy. those ties. And as you can see in the picture, or she takes them, turns them into cute little purses. And well, that's once, an idea. once you're getting rid of those ties, you can have your favorite Father's Day tie turn into a little purse for your sweetie, and that's one way that you can be. Well, that's very clever. I it's, didn't even it, notice that those are necklaces. They're all ties, and they're all made of, you know, if you start recognizing these, the ties. Very it's clever. Just, it's a very clever approach to it, and, and Bobby's going to talk about ties <coughs> a little bit as well. So that's, you know, those are two different local stories. And then the other aspect about all of that is, so what do we do with all of our excess clothes? You know, do we just throw them away? No. Uh, so we take them to consignment shops, or we donate them. And now there's a, there's a lot of new businesses out there. There's a whole new trend for uh, fashion mm -hmm. consignment on the websites. And so there's, there's a, a website that's called ThreadUp, and they have this yellow polka dot bag that they send to you. And 
You might have a picture of that yellow polka dot bag. And they send it to you, and you just load it up with the clothes you want to get rid of. They send it off to wherever this company is. They paw through all the clothes, put it up on their website, and, and then they sell it, and you make some money that you can use. Oh, sort of a consignment. A right consignment right. online. Uh -huh. So with that idea of, like, what do we do with our clothes, Bobby, you know, has the city has some, some programs for that, and then we've got the trash yeah. fashion, fashion show coming yeah, up. Yeah, Keep Albuquerque Beautiful, we do an annual event called Recyclos where we take uh, gently used donations and we turn around and give that to uh, 505 Locker and they turn around and they give that to the children and they see us uh, they're homeless and mm -hmm. they close. So it's a good way to keep it out of the landfills mm -hmm. and put it back to use. Indeed. That's very cool. I remember as a kid watching Carol Burnett and Harvey Corman do a Gone with the Wind sketch and she took the curtains <laughs> and made a dress yeah. out of it. <laughs> so it started way back then. Yeah. Oh yes, definitely. You know. Well, then the Trash and Fashion Show is coming up this Saturday. Yeah, it's Trash and Fashion's, uh, <clears throat> it's been a popular event for the last three years. Uh, we challenge designers to use everyday material, magazines, newspaper, uh -huh. water bottles, things of that nature, and make uh, neat <laughs> outfits. Um, Here we have some spectacular outfits. Look at this. <coughs> And that, that was from the first year. That's pretty funny. That's just a, a garbage bag, a lawn and leaf garbage bag, and they just utilized the, the drawstring for the, sh the shoulder straps. <laughs> I don't think I could pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. CNN did a story on this recently, and they were doing uh, art or trash to art. And uh, Southwest Airlines uh, commissioned someone to take a flight attendant uniform made from uh, worn out leather seat covers. Oh. Toyota commissioned someone to design a jacket and a skirt made of soft top convertibles. Mm -hmm. um, Target did the same thing. So you could potentially get a sponsor for your mm -hmm. a clothing store, a local yeah. clothing store. Mm -hmm. to do That's it. always a possibility. Uh, we're, we're in our infancy right now, the, the fashion show is. Uh, in, it's gaining momentum each year. This year looks to be the biggest year so far. So we're excited. You're right. Hopefully. We, get some sponsorship down there. Well, and this Saturday is actually America Recycles Day. Yes. And I guess you're tied oh, in with it's that. Oh, perfect day to have this. Yeah, And exactly. there's, there's many cities around the country that, that have this event. Yeah, it's, it's not unique just to Albuquerque, mm -hmm. uh, but this is ours. Um, and we're proud of, the, proud of the show, and the community seems to be so embracing who, it. How'd you oh. find the designers, and how'd you find models? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The models are easy. It's it really? The, it's the designers, <laughs> finding somebody to, to create, create the yeah. outfits. Uh, a couple of those photos that you saw were actually my interns. Uh, so no they, kidding. You know, other duties as assigned, uh, they were kind of forced into doing it. Um, <laughs> I, there's a local company here called Stitchology, um, Melissa Hart. She's a professional designer, so she, she teaches a class, so she brings her kids on board, and they make outfits, and she makes a few herself. Um, I partner with Warehouse 508. It's a group for uh, students. Um, they make a bunch of outfits, and like I said, the models are, are easy, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, that's the easy part. It's finding somebody that can sew these outfits and put them together. My wife gets volunteered a lot to of do course. a lot of things. You know. <laughs> so the event is this Saturday from 2 to 5, and, and where is it located? It's uh, at Warehouse 508, uh -huh. at 508 First Street. Um, bring your family, bring your friends, come on down. We're, um, in addition to the to the fashion show during the intermission. Uh, Warehouse 508 is going to have some of their students playing some music for us. And then uh, later in the afternoon, we're going to be visited by Recycled Elvis. Uh, it's an Elvis impersonator, and his outfit's going to be made out of glass. Hey, cool. Out of glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a chance for you to look like a fashionista down there. You look, you know, wear the sunglasses and the whole thing. <coughs> I'm used to modeling. That's you what can wear I do. the tie. Yeah. You know, it's made out of magazines. Oh, really? That's very cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's one of the outfits. That's, that that's great. really neat. Mm -hmm. I, I like the concept. And you blogged about it, Judy. Where can people find your website again? My website is moneytracker.com. Mm -hmm. And the title, as I said earlier, is a Trash and Fashion Makes It Fashionable to Wear Trash. And I talk about all kinds of different things around the clothing. And even mentioning our own the new local company coming in, Global Fashion Technologies, that's coming in in, oh. in Berlin. Um, they're, nice. they, they take fabric bowls and scraps, like 128 million from around the and world. Repurpose them. Right? Re, the fiber. They yeah. create new fiber. Wow. Mm -hmm. What a cool idea. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bob, it's good to meet you. Um, everybody come out to the Trash and Fashion mm -hmm. event uh, this Saturday, 2 to 5, and uh, you'll have a good time. Yep. Sounds, That's right. Sounds like a fun time. Judy, it's always Thank great you. to visit with you. Thank uh, you. Good to have you back on the show. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Thanks for having me. You bet. It's the Morning Brew.
a totally recyclable TV show. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Uh, the criminal justice system in New Mexico is about to get a big reform, and uh, one of the people heading the, the project is State Senator Lisa Taraco. She'll be with us next here on The Morning Groove.